Hey, this is Llama Rod again, your favorite Black queer llama, here to answer yet another question that you all have sent in to me. And this question is about boundaries, and particularly how boundaries relate to Dharma, okay? So first of all, a boundary for me in my practice is a decision that I make to protect my well-being and the well-being of another person or a group, right? So boundaries um, are enacted because I feel as if I'm moving into a space of being out of control. Out of control for me means that I begin to react to things that are arising for me in such a way that I will create harm and violence um, for myself and for others. When I feel myself moving into that space, then I work to create boundaries or make decisions to refrain um, from the situation that I feel as if I've lost the agency over and in. Boundaries for me are not created to hurt people, right? Or to hurt myself. I create boundaries because I need the space to come back into, into a balanced relationship with myself and with all the experiences, the thoughts, emotions and sensations that are arising for me um, that um, maybe have been feeling, you know, overwhelming, right? Um, so a boundary helps me to step back and to have the space to practice, right? So I never create a boundary and not take the space that the boundary creates to practice. I always practice. If I have to refrain from an interaction or a situation or from being in a relationship with others, I'm always using that space to, to kind of care for myself, to tend to my own hurt, and to try to figure out a way, if it is appropriate, to come back into relationship um, with others. Sometimes it's not appropriate. Sometimes I don't need to you know, or I don't feel it is appropriate for me to be back in a relationship. Sometimes a boundary is permanent, right? Or a boundary can be temporary, right? It depends on what I need in order to feel well enough, right, to be back in relationship with others where I am able to reduce harm and violence, right? Um, so when we start talking about boundaries, boundaries are rather when we start talking about Dharma, Dharma is an expression of boundaries, right? Dharma actually means wisdom. It means clarity, right? And Dharma isn't, you know, it is not, um, it's not so much about this tradition of Buddhism as it is about the expression of clarity of, of the nature of all reality, right? I think Dharma is found in many religions, spiritual paths, and philosophies that are concerned with the nature of reality and about ultimate liberation, right? So when you're practicing Dharma, you're getting clear. When you get clear, right, you're, you're learning what is conducive and not conducive to your personal project of achieving freedom, from suffering, right? So boundaries in relationship to Dharma actually help us to figure out what we need to give up and what we need to take on, right? To help us get to this goal um, of freedom. You can't practice Dharma without boundaries, right? As I've moved, you know, through my Dharma practice over the past 20 years or so, um, there are many things that I've had to to walk away from, you know, to, to create boundaries and to say, you know what, I can't be myself. I can't be, um, I can't reduce harm and violence if I'm in a relationship to these people or to these groups or to something else, right? And so creating that boundary has helped me to actually refocus my energy towards um, continuing the work, you know, of getting free. There are a lot of things in our lives that we actually should actually be letting go of, right? And there are other things that we should actually be kind of embracing, pulling closer um, into um, our experience. And this is something that we all have to figure out for ourselves, right? What is conducive to my freedom and what isn't conducive to my freedom? Again, 
like I'm not really interested in happiness or comfort. I'm interested in freedom. So when I talk about what's conducive, again, I'm talking about what's going to get me ultimately free, right? Not what's going to necessarily make me happy in the present moment, because sometimes we have to make decisions that actually are about moving deeper into discomfort, right? Um, about, you know, some of these decisions are about creating boundaries around the things that we're using to bypass, um, what's really happening for us or to skip over it or to erase it. So creating a boundary that says, you know what, I'm not going to do that thing of bypassing, you know, what's uncomfortable. I'm going to abandon that and refocus my attention into moving into these experiences of discomfort where I'm able to, to name these experiences, experience, you know, the nature of these things and to actually understand that discomfort can be managed and held if I can offer enough space to that experience. So space is the key here. Like I sometimes often or all the time, I can't get to the space and offering that space to the discomfort that I'm experiencing because I haven't created the appropriate boundaries around the things that I kind of slip into that take me out of this work of experiencing um, what has been uncomfortable, okay? So again, you know, just to sum up everything, you know, boundaries are decisions that we make to create the space we need in order to reduce harm and violence for ourselves and others. I think boundaries are an expression of love and compassion. Um, boundaries shouldn't be an expression of harm for others or for ourselves. We enact boundaries to heal, to love, to create space for everyone in order to do the work um, of reducing harm and violence. And then maybe, hopefully, eventually coming back into balance, into harmony, whatever that may be for you. And again, Dharma is about boundaries. It's about getting clear about what we need and don't need in order to get free. Okay, so I hope this has been helpful. Thank you.